Good morning, lovely reception. Hope you're all feeling great today. You're doing so, so well doing your learning at home. Keep going and keep saying, I can do it. So, time for our Wednesday's click. So, let's go. We have our k for counting, o for learning. It's nothing new and k for calculation. Pause me, do some counting songs, do some you haven't done this week. Why don't you try doing a Jack Hartman count to 100, get fit, get on your feet and when you finish you can come back on here. Welcome back reception, I hope you're feeling tired out now. Right, now it's time for our learn it. Say what you see. Let's go. Two. Three. I wonder if you can use your fingers as well. Five. Four. Ten. One. Eight. Eight. Seven, nine. Remember to do nine fingers. You put ten up, you put one down. Three Numicon. Two Numicon. Four Numicon. Five Numicon. One Numicon. Eight Numicon. Six Numicon. Nine Numicon, seven Numicon, ten Numicon, one and one equals two. Two and two equals four. Excellent. Let's have a look at our number of the week. Can you remember what it is? If you can, shout it out now. It's number Eleven. So we know we've got ten Numicon and we're adding another one on and that makes the two ones together. It's the eleven. Have a quick go at writing number eleven for me. I'll do it on here too. You might also do your ones like this. That is a-okay. All right, we're back doing more du -du 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 doubles, doubles, doubles. I can add doubles. It's no trouble for me to add doubles. So this week we're learning what the word double means. Say hello to our friend Pim. Hi, Pim. Pim, we're ready to do some more doubles. Right, oh, I think it's getting trickier today, reception. Do you think we can keep going? Oh, you might have to help me. Right, let's count how many things Pim's got today. Oh, I hope it's easy, Pim. One, two, three cats. Oh, another. One, two, three cats. All right, three cats and three cats. What is three cats and three cats? Oh, help me out, reception, help me out. I know, let's count them. One, two, Three, four, five, six. So three cats and three cats is six cats. Six cats. Can you put three fingers up and another three fingers? Put them together and you've got six. All right, so that must mean, everybody, that double three cats is six cats. Double three cats is six cats. Right, we've got one, two, three ducks add one two three ducks right do it on your fingers one two three ducks add one two three ducks count your fingers one two three four five six three ducks and three ducks is six ducks now shout out what's double three ducks double three ducks is six ducks oh, okay you ready one two three balls Add one, two, three balls. I think we know this off by heart now. It's six. 
six balls. Three and three is six. Double three is six. Now we've got some dots on the dice. Let's just count how many dots are on that dice. We need to be sure. One, two, three. There's three dots on one dice. One, two, three dots on the other dice. When we put those dots together, hmm. Three and three. What does it equal? Six. Six. Good job. Good job. Right, here's our triangle. Today, we've got three in one corner, three in the other corner, and six at the top, okay? So three and three equals six. Check out the number sentence. Three add another three equals six. Double three is six. Cool. If double three is six, I want you to have a look at that triangle and try and work out what half of six is. Remember, to find out half of six, we look at the number at the bottom. Hmm. Come on, what's half of six? Half of six. Half of six is three. Three. Okay, pencil and paper. You know what to do by now. Right. I wonder how fast you could do this today. I want you to write down double three. Three add three. Remember to look at the triangle to help you. What's three add three? Go. Shine when you've done it like this. All right. Three, two, one. Double three is six. We know that because we've learnt it today. Three add three is six. Right, get your paper and pencils ready. Okay, you know what's coming. This time I want you to write down half of six. Half of six. There's six at the top of the triangle. What's at the bottom? What is half of six? If we got six and we cut it in half, shared it out, what is half of six? I'm going to give you just a few seconds. Okay, three, two, one. If you've written the number three, you can do a whoop, whoop. <laughs> well done. You really are getting better and better and better at math every day. We are super proud of you here and we're missing you lots. Okay, everybody, see you for Thursday's math tomorrow. Bye.